my boy. <gasps> Mommy, dearest. I know you said something loose on this world. What was it? I think you know. No stone unturned. My body is... This family's unnatural behavior. I've never experienced anything like it. Welcome back, everyone. It's Charlie. Happy Comic-Con week. This is going to be my Marvel Hellstrom trailer breakdown. I'll explain what's going on with the series. There's a bunch of Easter eggs in here and Doctor Strange, Ghost Rider stuff. So if you're new to the channel, there's still a bunch of Comic-Con videos that I haven't got to yet, a bunch of trailers and a bunch of really cool stuff. So be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. There's also more convention stuff that's going to be happening between Marvel and DC later this year, too. We'll do a new Amazon giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and let me know what you want them to do with the darker MCU characters like Ghost Rider in Marvel Phase 4. So if you have no idea what Hellstrom is or who the character is from the comics, what's going on with the TV show, this is sort of like the final TV show from Marvel Studios' older projects under Jeff Loeb, completed just as Kevin Feige was starting to take over all the Marvel Phase 4 Avengers Disney Plus series. So this series is sort of a cross between Rosemary's Baby and the Omen series if Damien became a supernatural detective like John Constantine from the DC Universe. Hellstrom is the son of the MCU version of the devil and a human woman, which explains his powers. He was a member of Doctor Strange's Defenders team, the Midnight Suns, and he's a big Ghost Rider crossover character. The woman walking around with him in all this trailer footage is his sister. Her name is Satana. She's just like him. But they gave her a normal human name on the show, just shortening it to Anna. She has the same divine magical powers through her devil bloodline, though. Marvel's introducing Blade into the MCU Vampires Doctor Strange 2 Multiverse of Madness is going to be the first real MCU horror movie. They're doing a Moon Knight Disney Plus series, so Marvel is just doing a lot more darker supernatural characters heading into Marvel Phase 4. Kevin Feige said the reason why they waited this long to do characters like this in the MCU is just because they were looking for the appropriate in in Doctor Strange provided that in. The reason why this is on Hulu, though, is because of a special Ghost Rider Supernatural Marvel crossover event that they were going to build up to involving the Ghost Rider TV show that they had been developing for the last couple of years. It would have been like the next version of the Marvel Netflix Defenders team-up show with Daredevil, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, and Iron Fist all coming together. But this would have been all these different supernatural characters from the MCU, like Hellstrom and Ghost Rider, teaming up. It was going to be called Adventure Into Fear. The reason they're doing it on Hulu and not Netflix or Disney Plus is because it would have been way too hardcore for Disney Plus. Religious themed horror just way too much for Disney Plus. Not super family friendly. And because Marvel ended its relationship with Netflix when they launched Disney Plus and bought Hulu, they just put it on Hulu. If you didn't know that, Disney owns all of Hulu now. So that's where they're putting all their hardcore content that they feel like isn't family friendly enough for Disney Plus. The Hellstrom TV show is just one of the few shows that survived the merger between Marvel TV and Marvel Studios when Kevin Feige took over all the TV shows. So pretty much all TV shows are coming from Marvel Studios now, even though you wouldn't know it to look at the trailer. They took a lot of the Marvel branding out of this trailer, weirdly enough. They canceled the Ghost Rider TV show with Gabriel Luna's Robbie Reyes version of Ghost Rider from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. a little while ago. You probably heard about that. It would have been his version of the character from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. going on to his own series. Remember way back in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4 when he left at the end of the season through one of those portals that looked like one of Doctor Strange's portals, talking about going to an alternate dimension, this giant war that he was fighting in, this supernatural war? That would have all figured into what was happening with the Adventure Into Fear team-up series that they're going to do on Hulu. And the writer wants to send them both back to where they came from. I hope that means hell. Hell is relative. Dimensions, space, planets, it's, it's all connected. Plenty of them qualify as hell. The Earth is just one territory in a war that's been going on forever. But it sounds like their plans have changed, so all those characters will wind up showing up in the MCU, like we've been talking about an MCU version of Ghost Rider during Doctor Strange 2. So I'll address that in a second. 
But as they imply during the trailer footage, his mother was a human woman, this person here that seems like she's been driven mad. You can see the childhood family photo of them together with the devil's face scratched out. Remember, his father is the MCU version of the devil that looks like he just took human form to have this family. Prior to the series, it's just implied that he was banished back to hell at some point. And when they refer to their mother unleashing something on the world again in present day, and you start to see them reference their quote unquote father, you see all this violence erupting, it's just them teasing the return of the devil. And it sounds like it's building up to a big event in the finale with him and his sister trying to lock the devil back in hell. There was a point a little while ago in the comics where Doctor Strange considered Hellstrom to take over as the next Sorcerer Supreme because his magical aptitude and innate divine power was so great. In that way, he's also kind of like the Legion character in that he has the potential for limitless power if he succumbs to his darker side. As you can see in the trailer, struggling with that dark side of himself is a big part of the series. His sister goes through the same thing too. She's just like him with the same types of powers. The dynamic between them gets super weird, but they're mostly partners. So it's just a darker religious themed Marvel series on the road to Blade in the MCU, Ghost Rider in the Moon Knight character. There'll obviously be more supernatural characters in the MCU. That's just the beginning. He would be a good candidate for a new Marvel Defenders or a Midnight Suns Blade team up in the MCU if they can ever get to that. But Kevin Feige hasn't really said what his larger plans are for the darker Marvel characters teaming up. I think we'll get a better hint of that in Doctor Strange 2 Multiverse of Madness with some teases for the other new characters like Moon Knight, Ghost Rider, that whole side of the MCU. The way that they explain his power is also a lot like magic from the X-Men, like you see magic in all the New Mutants trailers. Marvel classifies Hell as an alternate dimension that the MCU devil rules over, and when Hellstrom is in that dimension, he wields almost unlimited power. But while he's walking around on planet Earth, his abilities are just limited by his mortal form. It's just like magic being way more powerful when she's inside the limbo dimension rather than when she's just walking around on Earth. She's still powerful when she's walking around on Earth, but in limbo, she's way, way more powerful. I know there's a lot of questions about how this is connected to the MCU. Will this character show up in any Marvel movies or other series? The way they're treating it is kind of like the new Mutants movie because another group produced it, but they're releasing it through Marvel Studios. So for instance, the New Mutants movie, bunch of X-Men characters, it's a horror film, but because Kevin Feige didn't produce it himself, it's not technically connected to the MCU, it's only loosely connected, and the characters could always come back in future projects because now they own all the X-Men characters again. Right now, Doctor Strange 2, Multiverse of Madness is coming out March 2022. Sam Raimi, Mr. Spider-Man himself is directing. He's an awesome horror director. He also filmed a few giant comic book movies in the past you probably saw. Pizza time. At the Marvel Phase 4 Comic-Con panel, Benedict Cumberbatch said something interesting too about the general tone of Doctor Strange 2, given that they were talking about doing an MCU horror movie. I'm paraphrasing, but he said something like it was important for them not to forget the humor of the previous movie. And when you start talking about doing horror and comedy elements together, that's literally Sam Raimi's origin story. Obviously, the Hellstrom series is playing it way more serious, way more hardcore, but all those episodes will start releasing October 16th on Hulu. I probably won't do weekly episodes just because it feels like a smaller series, but I might do a video just to explain where they end things after the series is done. And just to be clear, this is being billed as a limited series, so there will not be a season two. Marvel also skipped Comic-Con mostly this year with all their big movie stuff. So if you wonder why there weren't any big Marvel movie trailers, that's why. They'll do their own separate special event for all the upcoming movies and start releasing trailers probably sometime late August or September. That's also when we're going to start seeing a bunch of the Falcon and Winter Soldier series on Disney+. Plus. It's supposed to start airing episodes in the fall, but that's a pretty general date range. It starts in September, but they could push it a little bit later if there are more delays. The Avengers WandaVision series is supposed to start releasing in December, but it'll directly cross over with Doctor Strange 2 Multiverse of Madness in a way that Falcon and Winter Soldier will not. There was a bunch more big Comic-Con stuff and Marvel stuff that dropped in the last couple of days. I'll try to do as many videos for that as I can. There was a really cool Marvel Wolverine documentary trailer. I'll probably do a video for that sometime tomorrow. So as long as you have alerts enabled for my channel, you should see all those videos when I post them. Leave all your video requests in the comments below and just everybody let me know what you think about Marvel doing darker supernatural character series. While you wait for everything, everyone click here for that brand new Justice League Snyder Cut trailer and click here for that Avengers WandaVision trailer video. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe. I'll see you guys tonight.